Hi, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to set up some randomized gating within Vital to create something like this. So obviously it's this sound on top here. I did use a variation of this technique a few weeks or months ago when I did the Adja gating video, but this is a more simplified version and with a different sound concept in mind. So the first thing to do is open up a fresh Vital instance. Now the bulk of this sound, the gating comes from randomizing the phase of the LFO. So let's turn smooth down. Let's turn the trigger length up to one bar. That will be our sequencing length. Let's put the waveform on, let's start with the saw, and then we'll assign LFO1 to the level here. Turn that down, and then we'll turn it up to around 0.75 or 7.7. .7. Now let's click on this little guy here, the little step button. We're going to make it a saw, so down. And then we're going to draw in a series of steps here. So if we did something like this, that would play this little saw gating for the entire bar. But we don't want that, we want a variation of that. So let's turn this down to four. And for the first one, or for the first quarter essentially, we'll do a quarter note down. Then we'll just turn this up to eight. We can make these one eighth notes. Let's turn this to sixteenth. And you guessed it, these become sixteenth notes. And then we'll go to 32 for the final quarter, like so. Now if we play this back, we'll get a quarter, two eighths, four sixteenths, and eight thirty seconds. But that's obviously very linear. We don't want that. We want to randomize that. So to do that, we go into our trusty mod matrix. As I said, we're looking to randomize which one of these sequences plays at each time. So let's add a random one. So we go random one here. And then we assign that to the phase of LFO1. So LFO1 phase. And the phase is essentially, this is zero phase, 180 and 360. So it's determining where in this cycle, where in this loop will it start. The mode needs to be on sample and hold, and we want it to change every quarter because we have this set up in quarters. So let's play this back. So if you look closely there, you can see that it's starting sometimes in the middle of a cycle. We don't want that, we want it to start bang on each one of the quarters. So down on the mod remap, let's turn this to step. On the X, let's turn that to four, because again, we're working in quarters. And let's turn four on the Y axis also. So now, if we put one here, another one there, another one there, and another one there, when it steps through the randomization, it's going to be at zero all the way, so essentially zero phase. Or, if it's not that, then it will go immediately to 90 phase and stay at 90 phase, 180, and then uh, 270 here. So the point being that there's nothing in the middle. It will lock on each time at the beginning of the phase cycle there. So that's getting there. Let's turn the octaves down a bit. Let's go minus 12. Maybe we even go minus 24.
Turn the phase randomization down to zero. Spread down also. Put a filter on. Bit of band pass. Band pass 24. Bit of volume compensation. Let's assign that to another random. Uh, let's keep it the Perlin 20, Perlin 1 quarter. That's only quite good. Let's put a bit of delay on 1 8 dotted. Reverb and let's put let's say a flanger on. We can now play with the wavetables. Maybe put the Perlin on the frame. I think I like that one. Let's leave it there. It's made me draw in a bit of a pattern in there. Purely at random, this is. So there we go, nice and simple. You can obviously mix this up as well. So at the moment we have saws here. You can change that to full steps if you want. We can maybe do some of these to be a step. So let's say this one and this one, maybe some of these as well.
have some fun with the LFO here. Draw in some random shapes, just basically section it into quarters. And then with each quarter, draw in a bit of a random shape. And then it will bounce between those shapes, causing all sorts of chaos. But controlled chaos, in a way. So, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.